So moving along to the uh, right hand door, it's uh, actually identical to the left hand door. Dry erase panel, it's about three and a half inch thick, 24 inch wide by 30 inch high. Mounted on a piano hinge for strength. Research I've done uh, indicates that uh, this is actually equally stronger, stronger than conventional butt hinges. So I was going to replace this, but I actually strengthened it with longer screws and it seems to work well. So I'll just talk about this a little bit, the, uh, the holders and uh, all the tools. I, uh, I like to work in uh, precision. Uh, most of my work is uh, casework with uh, small casework, Krenov inspired casework, uh, small on cabinets on stand and cabinets. My work is a lot smaller <clears throat> in uh, dimensions today than it used, formerly used to be. I like to work in uh, small uh, increments, small, small dimensions. Uh, so I have a lot of rulers and uh, I tend to use a lot of engineer squares in different sizes. Three here, they're mounted. These are a uh, nice way of mounting them. So they slide in and then sit there and they're very unlikely to slide over and fall off. And then the uh, different sets of rulers, I have even more. I have more tools in another area. But these are uh, my go-to rulers for length. And uh, specifically, this one is a hook uh, rule that I use to place against an edge, and that works out well. So uh, that removes, uh, actually slides into that slot and slides off. If I can get it off, so that's... Uh... So this is a little uh, interesting uh, way of mounting these tools, these, uh, these rulers. And I, got, I used a little holder so with a slot to keep it from uh, rattling around. And then I, uh, I've got a, a star combination, a combination square I should say, and that uh, it's quite heavy and uh, very high quality and you can distinguish this from lower cost uh, combination squares from the weight, the mass and the precision and the, uh, the actual rule is fairly thick at probably an eighth of an inch or so. So that's uh, another similar mount as to the engineer squares so it just slides in and sits on top moving along this is a uh, measuring uh, tool I have uh, developed similar to the one in the left cabinet but shorter I use this to, uh, to, put, uh, to, to mark measurements on, uh, on boards and then transfer the same measurement to, uh, to different boards so it comes in quite handy when you're uh, doing uh, Multiples are uh, more than one similar component. So, uh, so this is uh, again a custom uh, mount for this uh, for this tool. All the wood I've used is uh, raw offcuts and salt cherry. Uh, moving along is a small uh, aluminum uh, level that I use. I use I tend to use that size for my work because it's small and handy and sits on top of the smaller work. The uh, Shinwa bevel bevel gauge this is a high quality very heavy precision tool just mount that again the holder keeps it from rattling around this is a custom holder this holder is interesting another bevel gauge and this is a conventional uh, i think rosewood and brass but this has a pivoting uh, lock on it so so i can pivot this over release it and hang it back and uh, set it up again. But that keeps it from rattling back and forth. A larger square, I've got a couple of more, larger, even larger ones, but I tend to use this size for most of my work. It's, uh, and I've, I've matured that it's accurate, this particular square. So that's another holder. Spoke shapes, I have, uh, I don't have any spoke shapes. I've got an older, uh, more cost model. But this is, these are my go-to uh, flat bottom. Uh, and my curve bottom Lee Nielsen uh, spoke shapes. I think they uh, were designed by Brian Boggs. Uh, this is a holder I've developed. This, uh, this is uh, an original holder I had somewhere else, but I've adapted it to this, uh, this door since. So that's, uh, that keeps it simple. Uh, these, are, uh, these tools are quite interesting. These are, I purchased them years ago. They're, uh, I think they're clearing them out somewhere, I can't remember why, but if they're very pre precision tools, high precision tools, they're, uh, what they are are, are um, angle gauges. 
uh, that they're preset at different angles, so they lock in at different angles. For example, 22 and a half, 45, 67, 90, but they're incredibly accurate and precise. Uh, so I've actually measured them against other other tools, more precise tools, and you can believe the precision. So, so this is a quick, uh, quick and dirty way of, uh, of getting a, an angle that more of the, the common angles that we use in woodworking. And uh, so they're, uh, they're they're imported from Sweden, and uh, the thick rule, and it's just it's a nice tool. So I've got two sizes. I think they came as a package when I purchased them. So. So I've got this cool holder that locks both in and uh, pivots, and uh, that would be it. I think that's fairly full, so I'm not going to add anything to that. So again, I'm very happy with how this has turned out. The doors are not interfering with any of my work. It's got magnetic catches that I, I, uh, I just, uh, using the same ma magnets from the original, I just uh, replaced these parts on the new doors. And it has the, uh, the dry erase panels that I, I'm able to jot down build sequences and notes of, uh, of projects I'm working on, so I can check them off as I go along. I've demonstrated this in uh, other videos I've done on furniture design, on, on uh, building cabinets, another carryover of the knobs. I just wanted something that contrasted completely from the so I'm uh, very happy the doors aren't that heavy. I don't uh, expect them to sag or anything because of the continuous length of this uh, piano hinge. So I'm uh, very satisfied with how this has worked out. So I hope you've enjoyed this and uh, follow along on my uh, Instagram page, Wood Skills Mag, and uh, I keep posting my projects and all sorts of stuff in my workshop. Thanks.